Hi and welcome to my channel. Today we are continuing with the series Mega Game Like GTA Part 5. So we have to fix a few bugs we have in the car. And also I want to change the camera of the car because right now it's just stuck in one place. I want to move friendly when I'm driving. But before I start the tutorial, I want to say thank you to everybody that is supporting me. And if you want to support me, go to my Patreon page. If you can help me economically, you can go to my Discord, you can talk with me because it's a lot of the things I have to do. So every help is going to be appreciated. So thank you very much. Let's start the tutorial. So go to Rio. And the first, we want to change the uh, trouble for the car because right now I don't like the way it does. So I want to use different inputs. So look more like GTA. So go to edit, go to project settings, go to input and action mapping, go to throttle and change this stuff. So I want to change this one to trigger, uh, right trigger. And for brake, I want to use trigger, uh, what is that? left. And here I want to change this one to minus one. So I'm going to be breaking. So let's close this. Let's try now. So go inside the car. So we, when you use the triggers, you want to break, they're breaking. Face still holding, they're going to be backward. Uh, perfect. Okay. So that is the first. The second I, for the camera. So go to the blueprint of the car, you can go click here if you want to do it fast here, or you can use any car or use it here. So both is okay. So go inside, and here we want to create something here. They want to call the mouse, because I don't want to use all the time uh, the camera, so it's going to be mouse X. No, not the one. So they're going to be mouse x but not the one they want to be mouse event they want to be x and y so mouse mouse wow my mouse y they want to be mouse event they want to be y so we can do it in two different ways you can use this camera already have but if you using this camera if you are moving the camera, it hits some buildings, they want to overlap in the building. So for, uh, to avoid that, so the camera moves more close to the car when you're using a, uh, a wall or something, we need to change this one for another component. They use uh, spring arm. So that one, they have the collision enabled, so they want to be perfect. If you hit something, they want to move the camera. So you need to do it the opposite. Go to the camera attached to the spring arm. And we have to put more close the spring arm because right now it's too far away. So go more close. Because if you don't, well, you, you can see it. So if it is here, and you use the bank graph, use that stuff. They want to use the reference to the spring arm. So in here, you want to uh, set no, add, sorry, as relative rotation, because we want to change the rotation. So I want to split this and copy and paste, because you need to put both. So X is going to be here, and Y is going to be here. So the X is going to be to the jaw, and Y is going to be to the pitch, like that. Uh, spring arm with target, right? That so I compile and save. Is it we try it now? When I see you want to see why I'm talking about the spring. So if you are here and you want to move it, they rotate from that point, so that's not really that great. So we need to go to viewport and this one flow more closer because they want to rotate from here. So I want to rotate exactly in the middle of the car. But the camera is too close, so we need to change this target arm length. So here, you want to use something more big, like something maybe like 1,000, maybe? Yes, right. 
so compile and save. Go play. So now, if we were in the car, we can move the camera from the angle. Angle. So now it's perfect. If you hit something, they're gonna uh, close the camera. So that's perfect. But now, if you will notice, when you activate in this way, the wheel is not turning. They're not doing nothing at all. So we need to fix that because they don't look real. So let's fix that. The gamepad out. Okay, so we have to create a blueprint. So go out here, go to the blueprint, they're gonna be found uh, here. So we want to create an animation blueprint. So click, uh, right click, use animation, it go to animation blueprint. And right here, this blueprint is different like the when you use a character because uh, there's a vehicle. So you have to change a few stuff here. So in the animation blueprint, if you leave it like that, they're gonna be the first one, animation instance. You don't want to do that. So you go to all the way to the bottom, they're gonna say vehicle animation. So go here, click it, and here you have to choose the skeleton of the car. So for me, they're gonna be a skeleton car. If you see it in here, I change the names already here. You don't have to do that. I use it. I do that because I need more space in my computer. So that's why I'm using the same project from the English and Spanish in the same template. So to saving space. So skeleton car, they're gonna be okay. When I uh, change the name here, they're gonna be car, uh, maybe anim blueprint. For now it's okay. So when you open it, they say almost similar to the character, but they have a few things you have to move here and you can adjust later. But for, for now, they wanna use something they call I remember uh, mesh space, I think. Mesh space, yes. Mesh space reference pose. That wanna be the start point. So next, they wanna use from the, because you want to um, have the animation from the wheel, so you pay wheel, I already had wheel handle for wheel vehicle, so that's perfect. So click it. And that's it. So from here, connect this from here. They already gave the component to local, compile and save. So close this one. So now you won't play. Okay. So go to the car. And let's check it out. So move the camera a little bit like that. By accelerating, they didn't work. Why? Because I don't put in the blueprint in the mesh, change the animation class. So in here, animation class from the mesh, uh, um, skeleton mesh, go in here, it use the new animation blueprint, so compile and save. So close here, let's try again. So go to the car, enter, move the camera, and there you go, that is driving. You see, now it's, it's um, turning. But what happened? Uh, that stuff on real have enabled from the, uh, from the start the blur stuff. I don't really like the use blur, so let's change this. So it's a lot of stuff they have blur, but I used to use two out all the way. So one, they're gonna be edit, go to project setting, in the search detail here, they wanna put blur. So in here they're gonna say motion blur. You're gonna and um, false this. And also if in your map you had a post process volume, you have to change the blur there because they're gonna have it too. So go to the search bar, put um, post process, yes, like right here, post Post, post, process, volume. Okay. So in here, go to search details. It put the same blur. Go to the rendering features, motion blur. It go to the maximum, the max. They put like zero. 
So now let's save everything. Let's try again. So do they play? Take the gamepad, okay. So go inside the car, move the camera, and let's try now. Now it's better. So now they don't have blur. So they look a lot better. What happened? Now we have another bug here, but that is the problem of the map. Because the creator of the map, they make everything from a static mech, static mesh. And uh, all the roads, street, uh, everything. So when you hit that static mech, this collection from the car, they're gonna stop the car. Like for example, if we were driving from here, if we hit something different, right, for example here, they wanna hit. You don't supposed to hit when you you still you can drive on top of that. So we want to fix that too. But the only way to fix it is the I enable uh, collision, but they you wanna be uh, go through the static mess. So they wanna they don't look good. So the best the best way to do it is to make a new map a new map from the scrap using war composition. So you can use the map all the uh, all the hues you want if they don't do that. So I, I don't want to show you how to do it in this video because we already do that in another video, in another uh, tutorial, RPG tutorial. So if I learn how to put the link in the top here, in the right top on the video, I'm going to put it here. So you can click and you're going to learn how to do the wall composition. If it, I don't know how to put it right in the top, so I can put that link in my comment. So sorry for that. I still new in YouTube. So <laughs> go to uh, files. It's going to be new level, default. You want to start this one. So we, we don't have that stuff from the beginning. So close. We don't need fear. So I want to put this, close this one, a little more bigger, something like, I don't know, 100, 100, 100. So I want to put the card inside. It's a big play. Now it's better. So you go inside. Nothing going to hit the car. So that is the best way to do it. So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you like the video. If you like it, you can subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me, go to my Patreon page. And also, like I said before, if you want to help me different way, you can go to my Discord. You can talk with me why the, you can help me because it's a lot of stuff I'm doing right now. So all your help is going to be appreciated. So thank you very much and see you in the next video. So bye-bye.